Okay, a little help video with what type of LMB to buy for your satellite system. This is the first one. This is the newer type of LMB called a wideband. They all look basically the same, and that's one thing to remember. It's difficult to tell what type of LMB you've got until you look at the label on the back. And here it says wideband. So wideband LMBs are used for SkyQ and the newer UHD 4K presat boxes distinctly different than uh, the older type at the connection point you will see here we've got a v and a h so what this lmb does is it has a vertical output and a horizontal output that are fixed on older type of lmbs these outputs would switch depending on what channel you wanted to watch but the newer boxes do all the hard work inside the box this connection is simply all channels on the vertical transmission and this one is all the channels on the horizontal transmission. No switching takes place. Why is that important? Well, it allows you to watch more channels um, and record more channels at the same time. These are really easy to retrofit on a standard sky dish. You essentially pick off this plastic clip or unscrew it from this attachment here and attach your new one. Generally, the cables can be reused that you have on your system if they're already in place. Um, there's no need to change the cables. But the one thing to note is wideband LMBs do not work with Sky HD, older Sky Plus or Sky SD systems. They only work with Sky Q and of course, FreeSat UHD 4K boxes currently manufactured by Iris. So if you're looking to switch from Sky to a different system, which a lot of customers are, you need to check whether or not your LMB is going to be compatible with the box that you've purchased. We do get that quite a lot where people have a wide band LMB and are trying to use an older, for example, Fumax box these would not be compatible with the Humax boxes. Hope that's nice and clear for you. If you have any questions, post them in the comments or pop over to our website, freesatspares.co.uk.